Hey baddies, it's your girl Shyam and I'm back with another video. If you're new here to my channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you could be a baddie too. Obviously, as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be my one year conch update and my six month snug update. So if that sounds interesting, stay tuned. You got me, you got me, got, got me, got me, what's said? You got me, you got me, got, got me, got me, what's said? All right, so before I get too, too far into the video, first of all, I look crazy. I am leaving for a flight in 12 hours. I have nothing packed. I have to wash and rebraid my hair. But I figured I would sit down and film this video because since my hair is like this, you can actually see my ears a lot better versus me putting my wig on and then the wig hair is being in the way. So, all right, this is what my conch looks like. So as you guys can see, I did change it to the 11 millimeter titanium hoop that I got from Lulu's. It's got these little cubic zirconium crystals on it and this little like dot is a plastic o-ring that I put on it. The last time I changed this hoop I noticed that the crystals, the jewelry was rotating in my ear and the crystals were going into my piercing hole. Now this piercing is probably 95% healed however I don't want these crystals that are bumpy and that have texture to them going into my piercing hole and potentially causing extra damage, extra scar tissue and stuff like that. Um, this red dot, I scratched myself. It's not a piercing that I took out. It's nothing new. It's just a scratch. Um, going the wrong way. As far as my one year update for my conch, I really don't have much to say. Um, she's completely fine. Like I said, 95% healed. However, my goal was to live permanently with the hoop in and that's not going to happen i'm unfortunately going to end up putting the stud back in i've had this hoop in since sunday today is thursday i have not been able to sleep on this side the entire week because this has absolutely no give to it it fits perfectly right it's not too loose it's not too tight but it's uncomfortable to sleep in it it has no give to it so when i lay on it and i apply pressure to it it's applying pressure to my piercing hole and it's just not a vibe so I'm gonna put the stud in because the stud is a lot more comfortable to sleep in. I'm not going to sacrifice my sleep for this look. I will just change the jewelry whenever I feel like changing it. Um, the one thing I am thinking about doing is finding a chain to go on my conch because that will have a little bit more give to it compared to this that is going to be stuck in this shape 24 seven. So that's pretty much all I have to say about my conch the look that I was going for unfortunately isn't going to work but what else is new moving on to my snug real quick if y'all haven't seen any of my previous conch videos I'm gonna put them up here in the corner okay moving on to my snug she's about six months old if you haven't seen any of my snug videos I will put those in the corner right here so if you have seen the videos then you know she was really swollen she was really mad she had bumps on both sides and it was just like it wasn't terrible but she was mad she was irritated well six months later she's doing fine the bump on the top is gone the bump on the bottom is still there but it's not that bad and as you guys can see a lot of the swelling has also gone down there is a lot of room on this barbell this was my going the wrong way this is the barbell that I downsized to. So this is not the original barbell that I was pierced with. I downsized to this one because I had the bumps and the bumps weren't going to go away because I kept hitting the other jewelry. Anyway, the bumps for the most part are pretty much gone. So there is a lot of extra room on this barbell. However, as far as my snug goes, I'm not going to downsize this barbell again just yet because she sometimes will still swell up if i wipe it one too many times when i clean it it'll kind of swell up just a little bit if i sleep on it funny it'll kind of swell up just a little bit i can sleep on this side though comfortably nine times out of ten without any problems i've been sleeping on this side since i haven't been able to sleep on this side this week and as y'all can see she's fine um but I'm not going to downsize it just yet because she still does have flare-ups here and there. But other than that, both of these piercings are doing completely fine. This one I did have a little bit more of a rougher time with. But six months later, she's doing fine. I have no problems or concerns about healing this piercing the rest of the way through. Um, this one is pretty much done healing. The process was fantastic. I definitely would recommend 
getting your conch done because she was a very easy heel compared to my snug that was a little bit more difficult but it was worth the little hassle that I had to go through still was nothing compared to having my double forward helix pierced these two were still by far the worst piercings that I had to heal all right, so that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you got to the end of this video and you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, click the bell notification so that you get notified when I post every Sunday at 5 p.m. Aside from Vlogmas, starting January of 2022, I will be back on my regular schedule. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this type of content. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you're more than welcome to leave a comment down in my comment section. However, I'm not a professional piercer. I always recommend that you go talk to your piercer if you have any specific questions but i can answer some questions based on my personal experience again not a professional so i just have to put that out there while you're down there there's a link in my description click it so that you can listen to my music come back let me know if you like any of my music follow me on social media at shaman baddest and other than that i will see y'all in the next video bye